Hello friends, in the last lecture or the last module we have seen how to find the convolution between given x of t is equal to e power minus 4 t u of t and h of t is equal to e power minus 2 t u of t by using the convolution integral. So this is known as the convolution integral, convolution, convolution integral. So we have to substitute the given expressions in the integral and then we have to use the integration method. And this is the procedure and finally we got convolution between e power minus 2t of t and e power minus 4t of t as 1 by 2 into e power minus 2t minus e power minus 4t u of t. So in this video we will see are solving this the same problem by using the Fourier transform properties by using the Fourier transform Fourier transform properties by using the Fourier transform one of the Fourier transform property one of the Fourier transform property so what that property is convolution convolution of two signals convolution of two signals convolution of two signals in time domain convolution of two signals in time domain is equivalent to is equivalent to product of product of their Fourier transform Fourier Fourier transforms Fourier transforms in the frequency frequency domain frequency domain so we can also solve the same problem by using this property by using this property of the Fourier transform property so if you take x of t x of t convolution h of t so that if we call as y of t so this is in time domain so if by using the above Fourier transform property in the frequency domain it is equal to y of omega is equal to x of omega into h of omega so we have to know the Fourier transform of each of the individual x of t and h of t and then in the frequency domain y of omega is simply x of omega into h of omega. So here we have x of t x of t is equal to e power minus 2t u of t and then h of t is equal to e power minus 4t u of t. So we have the Fourier transform pair e power minus a t u of t will have a Fourier transform of 1 by a plus j omega. So if we compare the expressions, so the here a for this one for this one the corresponding x of omega is here a is 2 so this will be simply 1 by 2 plus j omega and for h of t the corresponding Fourier transform is h of omega it is 1 by so here a is 4 here a is 4 so it is 1 by 4 plus j omega. 
Now what is y of omega? Y of omega is simply x of omega into h of omega. So that is equal to 1 by 2 plus j omega into 4 plus j omega. 4 plus j omega. Now this we have to by using the partial fraction approximation method or by using uh, by using partial fraction method partial fraction method fraction method we can find the individual values we can express y of omega y of omega which is 1 by 2 plus j omega into 4 plus j omega as a by 2 plus j omega a by 2 plus j omega plus b by 4 plus j omega right so we have to find the coefficients a and b so a we can find by multiplying this y of omega with 2 plus j omega into y of omega and then we have to substitute j omega is equal to minus 2 so what we will have if you multiply this with 2 plus j omega 2 plus j omega will get cancelled in the numerator and denominator we left with 1 by 4 plus j omega and we have to substitute j omega is equal to minus 2 so if we substitute j omega is equal to minus 2 this 1 by 4 minus 2 so this is equal to a is equal to 1 by 2 so a is equal to 1 by 2 a is equal to 1 by 2 similarly to find b to find b we have to multiply with 4 plus j omega the given transfer function y of omega and then we have to substitute j omega is equal to minus 4 so then what we will have we will have 1 by 2 plus j omega and now we have to substitute j omega is equal to minus 4 and then if you substitute j omega is equal to minus 4 so 1 by 2 minus 4 that implies we will get b as minus 1 by 2 now what if we substitute the coefficients for a and b a is 1 by 2 and b is minus 1 by 2 b is minus 1 by 2 so we can express y of omega y of omega is equal to a by 2 plus j omega plus b by 4 plus j omega is equal to a is 1 by 2 into 2 plus j omega and minus b is minus 1 by 2 into 4 plus j omega so by taking 1 by 2 common we can write y of omega is equal to 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 plus j omega minus 1 by 4 plus j omega now by using the same Fourier transform pair t power minus a t u of t will have a Fourier transform of 1 by a plus j omega now if you find the corresponding inverse Fourier transform for this inverse Fourier transform for this y of t is equal to x of t convolution h of t is nothing but 1 by 2 into e power minus 2t u of t right 
and then this one is minus e power minus 4t u of t. So u of t we can take common. So we can write 1 by 2 into e power minus 2t minus e power minus 4t into u of t. So y of t y of t is equal to 1 by 2 into e power minus 2t minus e power minus 4t u of t. So we can find the convolution by using the Fourier transform property in this way. So this problem we can be asked in the exam by using the convolution integral or we can solve by using the Fourier transform property. So if we use the Fourier transform property, if we use the Fourier transform property, we can quickly solve. If we know this Fourier transform for e power minus a t u of t is 1 by a plus a omega, we can quickly solve without doing the integration. We can quickly find the convolution of x of t and h of t. So that is the advantage of this method. So this problem, whatever it was asked e power minus 4t u of t and e power minus 2t u of t. If it was asked by using the convolution integral, we have to follow this procedure. Whereas if it is asked to find the by using the Fourier transform property, we have to use e power minus a t u of t corresponding Fourier transform is 1 by a plus a omega and convolution of two signals in time domain is equal to product of their individual Fourier transform. So first we have to find we have to find y of omega and then simply we have to take the inverse Fourier transform. So I hope you have enjoyed this session. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share to your friends. Thank you.